Greetings ladies and gentlemen and those who have been watching my videos Welcome back to the gameplay of Eliza uh, Last episode we visited Ray Bukhari and um, she seems to have a bit of a trouble with her brother or something uh, since uh, he got evicted from their uh, their house It's not a house, more, more like a communal place for them basically, something like that and uh, oh yeah, just having to deal with some couple of clans who were actually pretty unique for them at each other and such. But lore-wise, yes, we are currently here. Rainer suddenly uh, messaged, messaged, messaged. <laughs> okay, there goes a bit of my cap there. Yeah, Rainer messaged Evelyn all of a sudden. Well, currently, well, Ray and Evelyn had a little bit of a open heart session, and here we are. Uh, I think in context here, Renner was asking on what Evelyn think of the pl uh, of the office uh, or of the server, or probably how quote unquote Eliza has developed so far. I do wonder if this will be the most neutral of all things. I don't know about Sipchat though. Sipchat seems to be. Hmm. I'm still not entirely sure how Sipchat works, but I suppose Evelyn does change her number? But then how does Nora and Erlen manage to contact her? But did they get their number or such? I said. Yeah, that's the thing I still I'm not understanding here, so I think I'm just gonna zoom on just choosing this one of the data center instead. What is it saying of the data center? Yes, Eliza as it is now. I don't know what you expected me to see. It's big now, that's for sure. I remember when it used to run on my laptop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. What is that was just one of the server clusters we have dedicated to it. There are two more currently operating and another dozen in various stages of development. It's all it processes more information on a daily basis than anything else we do. I had no idea you'd be using it like this. If I did, I would have worried more about optimization. Where is this gun for processing guns again? Oh, that's a bit interesting. So, like, I thought Evelyn will despise Rainer, but <laughs> no, no, no. She she keeps she keeps talking about it like as of a bit of an interest because she was indeed the founder of the uh, of Eliza before it developed to this much this far. That will not will have been necessary. Most of the Eliza servers are running the therapy application. What do you mean? Excuse me. Consider the following. Eliza processes human speech from thousands to millions of people. All that is going to corpus. There's a music here. Much of it is information about life situations and emotional states. Taking the form of stories people tell themselves of each other. Uh, what's with the music? <laughs> oh, it gives me chills. All that is going to its corpus, much of these versions about less situations and emotional states, taking form of stories. But then, so, so, where does this lead? At some point, after robust language processing and emotional reasoning, you begin to get something akin to general intelligence. Um. I'm still trying to understand here. Some basic people, some basic people, situation that form stories. So, point of your personal which process and resolution, you begin to get something akin to general intelligence. Um, human style intelligence. Yes, I would call it human model artificial intelligence. 
The next step is to take the base provided by Eliza and finally build the one thing that eluded the field of AI for so long, general intelligence. That's a really t fast type by the way, of Rainer. A system capable not only for understanding commands and carrying out tasks, but reasoning about it is well already ad adapting. A team machine on par with human beings and of course eventually exceeding them. Hmm. Are you saying human style intelligence can't come from human beings? People tend to be unreliable and expensive, and as as I'm sure you know, the human brain is to thinking as a pack animal was transport so and we but for senses are our only choice. Now we're finally developing the equivalent of power vehicles of for thinking on a mass scale. The point is only a matter of time, we're on the cups of fundamental shift. The metal planes here are quietly lining up their beds, positioning themselves to be at the center of this revolution. Luckily, Scanner has an advantage, the other zone, and it's thanks to you. <laughs> Because of Eliza's original purpose as a tool for therapy, its, called, its core is built around emotionally driven reasoning. My belief that emotional reasoning is a key ingredient others in this field has overlooked. This is all a bit aspirational. I'm not sure what you're thinking is possible. It's ambitious, certainly. But we can't afford to progress in small increments. Not with the world like this. Not with the competitors we have. Jesus Christ, Rainer. General intelligence is the game of for only understanding commands. Hmm. New race is seen as the back. I was the was so weak. The metal planes here are quietly lining up their beds, pushing the self be at the center of this revolution. Because of Eliza's usual purpose as a tool for therapy, its core is built around emotionally driven reasoning. Hmm. I don't even know how to define intelligence, that's an interesting choice. How will you know when you have it? That's an excellent question, of course. This may sound odd to you, but I'll know I've successfully created a general artificial intelligence when I say write a poem? Seriously. The idea will definitely seem ridiculous to someone uneducated about poetry. I okay, I'm going to bed. Good night, Evelyn. Yikes. She's lying. <laughs> Jesus. Rough. That's a rough, tough one there. What the hell? That was a weird conversation indeed. So I think Rainer is still convincing Evelyn to join him. Back at the Stakanda. As if, like, Evelyn is also driven to eventually go back to Skanda, I think. I do wonder how many endings that we will get in this game, actually. Hmm. This house looks so cheerful and cozy. Everyone who lives here must really care about making it an inviting space. I mean, it's a really good one. Nice art style, too. Ray seems to be a fan of plants. I think I get it. It's nice to have something to carry in for a low-key way. Something to nurture. Something to nurture. I like that poster. Are they a band or something? <laughs> I can't really... I can't really read what it's written there. Um, maybe I'll have to expand it at some point. I was always bad at keeping up with new music. But the rhinos, I don't. I think rhinos are to be seen as sacred in Indian uh, culture, or is that that might have been cow? I mm, excuse me, might be wrong there. Jesus, we could have played uh, another solitaire time if we want to. Oh yeah. What does a fulfilled life look like? <laughs> I 
Yeah, I think like I should like bring them somewhere. No idea. But I think that's all that uh, we can see from here. Let's continue. Ray returns from the kitchen, her hands cake with flour. Sorry for abandoning our conversation like that. I just got something I really thought I should answer. It was kind of about what we were discussing earlier. Oh. There's someone at Skanda who really wants me to come back to my old job. Oh my god, you could have mentioned immediately that it's Rainer. Did you tell Ray that... Hmm... I don't know. Maybe? Oh, maybe she hasn't talked about it yet. Who? It wasn't Rainer, was it? I sense that shock. Uh... Tone from Ray. Ray has a good instinct. Well... <laughs> no big deal. Just the CEO of Skanda texting you on your personal phone. Yeah, that's crazy. <gasps> oh no. Ray's gonna get a raw idea about this, I think. Evelyn, you try to tell me you're not a big deal, and then Rainer Sai texts you personally at like 9 in the evening. It's 8. Uh, actually. <laughs> or maybe the clock already like loops back. Uh, the minute and <laughs> not the hour. Uh, that tends to happen. Only because he wants something from me. Still though, that's just... that's amazing. I'm gonna feel bad for Ray if Evelyn ends up really coming back to Skanda. Dear me. What did he say? I mean, you don't have to tell me if you can't. I know how Skanda is about secrets, so I would understand. He was saying, among other things, he said you could use a general artificial intelligence to write poetry. What in the world does he mean about that? So like, once they start writing a poem, that means like they've exceeded the AI intelligence to be human-like intelligence for these AIs? Is that the kind of stuff he likes to talk about? I don't know. I haven't had many extended conversations with him. Seemed kind of ridiculous to me. I will agree. I don't know if it's totally ridiculous. Poetry, well, most poetry that isn't free verse has certain patterns, right? Okay, she's right. It has form and meter and other elements depending on the type. A lot of people think poetry can be whatever, but doesn't quite work that way. Hmm. So it's not really that far-fetched to think you could use some kind of software to approach it, or understand it, or maybe even create it. Has there been a machine that managed to create poetry? Is it like, that is like AI based? I know AIs now can generate stories based on how they got exposed multiple times by that particular franchise, like that Batman one. I don't know about poetry though. They, uh, I think someone might have done it before that I'm not too aware of. It doesn't strike me as antithetical to the spirit of poetry. We have to see about that. I didn't know you had such developed thoughts about this. Did you study poetry? Interesting question, Evelyn. Evelyn is really getting close to Ray Bukhari here. It's a quite a character development, I'd say. Not specifically. I used to dabble in a few different kinds of arts and ended up learning a few things here and there. I've always had a wide range of interests. Of course, that meant I never concentrated on one specific area in school. Which didn't do a lot of good for my career prospects. Obviously. Hmm. If I were smarter, I probably would have studied something more technical. So she mostly focuses her study on art and stuff, and not this kind of thing. That's that kind of explains why she managed to run three counseling centers. Still, a really, really unappreciated effort there. Oof. Like really. 
I want to tell Ray that that kind of choice has very little to do something with being smart, but I have the feeling she wouldn't believe me. <laughs> hmm. I mean, yeah, yeah, she's right. Like, I think it's kind of better to have its own uh, advantage on being master, a uh, jack of all trades, master of none. But, hmm. Kind of have a really. Really makes thought about that. Have you ever been to a college recruiting fair for engineering and computer science grads? You must have, right? I helped run the Skanda booth for one once and it blew my mind. Oh, interesting. They took over the atrium of the building it was in. There were demo stations, free food, Skanda t shirts, and swag. 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 If a candidate seemed interested, they'd talk about flying them out to whatever Skanda office they wanted to visit, just to see it. And all the other tech companies and a bunch of startups I'd never heard of had booths just like it, too. That's cool. I couldn't even imagine being that wanted as a potential employee. <sighs> hmm. All right. Every job I've ever applied for, I've been one among hundreds or thousands. So yeah, my parents were probably right. I should have done computer science. Oh, Ray, you should have followed your passion, girl. Like, I. It's like it's much better of you to follow your own your own passion instead of like following what your parents think of you. Except, well. If you're in line with what your parents want to be, you, I mean, that's great for part of you, but you should have your own stance to follow through whatever you want to be. I mean, like, come on, I studied psychology and now I work in a, a corporate communication at an office and I'm not even well at it too. I still, I still have a lot to learn about uh, public speaking stuff. At least now you know Rainer likes poetry. <laughs> Why are you staying with that? Maybe you could have a conversation with him about it sometime. Evelyn helps Ray to approach uh, Rainer if there deems to be a chance of it eventually. Then he'd learn who you are. <laughs> I doubt we'd have much to talk about. But knowing how little we know about Rainer Sai, <sighs> kind of believe of race intuition now. I don't know. I don't know. It may likely be the case. There's a pretty big difference between someone like him studying poetry and someone like me having opinions about it. Sometimes it's better not to cross that line, you know. Hmm. Well, I can respect that, but... <laughs> and since they make it closer with Rainer... He's part of a different world. Ray pauses to regard me for a moment. Say, Evelyn. That tone. And that music, too. Are you in a relationship? I'm just curious. Me? No. I wasn't... I wasn't doing so well for the past few years. Is Evelyn finally going to open up at this segment about what happened to her for the past three years? And before that, I just never had the time. It was just research and science and work, and then I woke up one day and I was in my 30s. <gasps> She's already in her 30s? Oh no. Oh my god. I'm going to so relate with this game a whole lot. I'm currently like holding my laptop screen right now thinking, oh boy, I... And I've been having so much people approaching me about what I'll do as my goals and like... It's going to bring me a lot of thoughts about it. Okay, so I'm gonna have to sing it for a bit. I'm gonna have to sing it for a bit with this music on too. <sighs> Evelyn is at her thirties now. Allegedly having a burnout during the off time. 
I, yeah, just hopefully I'm not gonna have the same pass. Uh, I still definitely have to dabble in between my hobby and my work as a work-life balance state. <sighs> okay. Even if I wanted to date, I wouldn't know the first thing about how it's supposed to work. Oh my god. Oh, jeez. This game is going to relate me a lot. <laughs> I wouldn't even know how to tell if someone were interested in me. Okay, that I can relate to. Yeah. That's perfectly understandable. I'm kind of over relationships myself. Like, on a conceptual level. I see. Not even in a sad way. Like, really okay. If someone and I end up getting along, that's great. But I'm honestly okay by myself. This segment is going to have me... mellowed by myself right here. Here. Ooh, freak me. Someone I get along that's great, but I'm not so great by myself. Hmm. Yeah. That seems nice, actually. <laughs> oh, Evelyn! Yeah, I only tried to have normal relationships for so long because I thought it was mandatory. Something expected of me. But now I see where people my age end up, how they live, and I feel lucky. How do they live? Like, are your friends with their relationship all be okay? I will kind of be curious about it, uh, depending on how you feel them, uh, the relationships now. <sighs> kind of reminds me when my mother mentioned about uh, some of the... Uh, what's the word? The son of a really, really important figure in our local uh, country right now. Uh, actually mentioned that uh, he actually really really is firm that he's not going to marry <laughs> i think he even mentioned this to his mom too that was interesting i think i haven't seen the podcast i might have to watch it later eventually i feel like i escaped i mean i think it's fine for others if they want that don't get me wrong it's just not for me it's not for everyone i get it I could maybe share my life with someone, but it would have to be platonic. And that's fair. I'm not into, um, the physical aspect of it. Never have been. Hmm. Men. Same. Just probably as much as hugs. I don't know about the sex part. I still haven't thought of it that much, too. Why do I keep sharing about this stuff too? I don't know, man. I just... It probably is gonna be something like it's about damn time I'm thinking about this kind of stuff. Uh, despite me still having constructed ad or walk and stuff. Quite interesting to think about it sometimes. That's made it tough. I've never found someone who was okay with just like hanging out and that's our relationship. Yeah, some folks don't like getting friends out. People will say they're okay with it, and then it turns out they aren't. It's frustrating. Yeah. Oh, God. I'm grimacing right now. I know it's like, oh, dear. Yeah. Mood swings and stuff. Well, maybe it's not like mood swings. Like, they might be have considered something else on um, what's important in the aspect, but like, maybe they want it. They want the positive, but not the negatives. Yeah. I'm just having way about intimacy. <laughs> this seems very neutral. Remember, we're currently having an open up session here <laughs> between Ray and Evelyn. I'm just gonna pick this one. 
There are some relationships like that, though. Sure, and I know some people who have that. I haven't really put that together for myself yet. Sometimes it's hard to escape feeling like it's wrong somehow. I hope we can add features like that to Eliza at some point. The emotional feature? Hmm. I mean... That would be neat actually, but... Oh my god. I'm having a little bit of remove flashback. You gotta be kidding me. Adding an emotional aspect to an AI. Ah! Crap! <laughs> having all about the flashback right now. Jesus. Some knowledge and understanding around sexuality and identity and relationships. Oh, sexuality. Uh, hmm. 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 So, people who are different in some way have someone to talk to. Someone to help them work through how they feel and maybe point them to some resources. Not just simply pointing them to some resources, it's also like listening to their problems too and like... Figuring out how... <laughs> to solve their problems at best, like... Going around with it. You might be overestimating how well Eliza works. You know what? I will go to this line. You might be overestimating how well Eliza works. I'm gonna be blunt here. I can't really address things like that in any sophisticated way. Well, maybe not, but... Just providing a space for people to be listened to can be really valuable, you know? Okay, that's fair still. I've seen it with my own eyes. People who get the courage to talk about themselves in a way they never could with another human being. Like communities and such. Where, where they share the same... Likely I didn't see or hobby at best. Hmm. And Eliza is what makes that possible. Ray is actually being hopeful though. I kind of don't want to break that spirit, not gonna lie. I know you want to avoid giving credit where it might not be due. But not giving credit to something that deserves it is just as bad. Not giving credit is something that deserves it. Okay. Fair. Fair. Yeah. I don't know. Sorry. I'm sorry I keep coming down on it. Evelyn, I'm not a psychologist or anything, but I think maybe the reason you're so down on Eliza is because you're down on yourself. Holy crap. I don't know what happened that made you leave what you had behind, but it must have been hard. Ah! I kind of want him, to, I kind of want her to, to open up about this. <laughs> hmm. I'm not sure I know either. I'm gonna be honest, I mean like, I legitimately do not know about uh, Evelyn's background on what led her to the, the three years of uh, disappearance. But I did mention to Erlen that she's over to what happened to de whatever happened, happened to Damien Seabrook, so... Let's also be honest with it, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. It was hard. It's like I lost that time. Here we go. Are you okay? People keep asking me that. I really don't know. I'm sorry, I... <sighs> no, no, don't apologize. Actually, can I suggest something? What's that? Have you ever gotten counseling yourself? Jesus Christ. What, with Eliza? You think I should? I have a feeling it may be a bad idea. 
Yeah, I do. You've been the proxy, but maybe you could try being the client sometime. It would be educational, at least. <laughs> ah, man, judging from how Eliza performs with our client so far, I don't know, man. I really don't know, especially with the intervention phase. That gets very disappointing. Isn't that what you were doing? Testing your product in the real world? Maybe. Maybe. Just something to consider. I appreciate your suggestion. Ray takes a break, uh, takes a break and smiles. Speaking of therapeutic activities, it's time to do some baking. I've got the dough all set out downstairs. <laughs> We're going to do three batches tonight, three different kinds. Three kinds? You're really outdoing yourself, Ray. <laughs> I really love Evelyn's thunder. <laughs> no, this is nothing. Oh, I have a favor to ask, by the way. I'm starting to get along the lines of these uh, forest lands, actually. They're actually fairly good at uh, uh, how they deliver how, how they deliver their lines, more like. Next time you talk to Rainer, ask him what his favorite type of cookie is. <laughs> Is he a fan of that though? <laughs> like a small chat ch cheese. Oh, okay. Oh, that's quite a transition. Hello. It's such a nice day. Is it like her feel or sort? It's it's just a really nice view. Holy crap. Don't mind the motorcycle though, that's away from here. When did it get so warm? I thought it was still winter. There's a breeze from over the water, making the leaves rustle gently. The music is good too in this one. Everything smells nice. Why haven't I been taking advantage of this beautiful day? I should be out here walking along the waterfront. There is calm and peace and contentedness. Contentedness. Now I see how special this is. I think I think it wasn't always this way, but it's hard to tell. I know I was having problems at one point, but that was so long ago. Ooh. I still don't know what time frame this is, so I still cannot speculate about it. Where was that? I can't remember. This moment in time seems to stretch to infinity. It has always existed. It will always exist. Changing. Perfect. The surface of that lake is such a brilliant blue. I mean, yeah, it's animated. It's really awesome. A blue I could lose myself in. Forever. Blue. The music stops. Well, what do you think? Oh! I think it's something about Evelyn's taking the piece of vinyl on this session. <laughs> Probably it's not the real time thing. Okay, okay, I get that, I think. It was... it was nice. It was like I could close my eyes and feel myself in another place. That's the pot. Okay, so... Four days after uh, Evelyn and Ray had baked their cookies. That's 
quite a time frame. But I didn't completely lose awareness of the real world. It was more like a mental state that I was experiencing. Oh yeah, I totally need to know that. I know this. Remarkable technology, isn't it? Oh, so we're testing Soren's technology. I've had others who tried it tell me it's akin to a state of higher consciousness. Aware, but totally serene, totally peaceful. Also, that seems to be like some sort of alcohol <laughs> and stuff. That'll be interesting. Also, interesting uh, wall painting that. So, uh, much more interesting compared to the ones that we've seen at our uh, workroom. Oh, so this is a bottle of whiskey from the liquor cabinet and sells himself. I like that sound effect. Nice addition there. Here's a thought experiment for you. Say there was a certain medical procedure that could remove your suffering. No side effects, no cost, just an operation that would make you permanently happy. Hmm? Would you get it? You have these philosopher types arguing you shouldn't do that because sadness and suffering are part of what it means to be human. Hmm? Or that the happiness you'd experience isn't real, so it doesn't count somehow. What a load of bullshit. If there was something effective at taking my pain away, and otherwise harmless, I would take it immediately. Hmm. If there was a way, but it's just how philosopher works. Just... Wow, that's uh, is, is, is that is that really good? I don't know. Actually, I refuse to believe that being alive means having to suffer. True, but that's a process at some point. His voice is getting so ragged. How many drinks did he have before I came here? <laughs> oh, forgive me, I forgot to ask. Would you like some scotch as well? No. I'm okay. Sorry, holds up the bottle, ex exam uh, examining it. The Glen Cadam, beautiful, light, luminous taste. Not peaty at all. Lovely stuff. <laughs> ah, if only psychotherapy worked as well as a single glass of well-made whiskey, huh? Except it's not. If alcohol wasn't poison, I wouldn't have to invent anything now, would I? <laughs> <laughs> That's Nicker at the end. I do think we did some good work at Skanda, but I always knew there were going to be limits to the Eliza approach. Yep. I think so, too. I was a counseling psychologist for a long time, you know. I understand the shortcomings better than anyone. So much of it can feel like a waste of time, talking through everything, dredging up the past over and over again, trying and failing to change our habits and routines. Yeah. It's all going to look completely ineffectual compared to what comes next. With direct stimulation and induced dreaming, we can take control of our own brains in a way that's never been possible before. How's it going, Soren, by the way? Have you made any progress about it? Or is that the thing that we just right there? There's no reason we couldn't just eliminate this epidemic of despair for everyone, everyone in the world. Imagine it. Anger, depression, emptiness, anxiety, jealousy, every kind of unhappiness you can think of, obsolete. Hmm. And to think Rainer wanted nothing to do with this. 
solid solid line there he thought it was a bad idea Rainer is one of the ones who thinks negative emotions are important I mean yes that works makes us human he told me he thinks pain should be regulated not eliminated hmm pain to be regulated not eliminated quite philosophical of him thinking about it after all why would anyone write a poem or make art if they only felt happiness hmm talking about poem he also said he was afraid of the way it would look in the media a company as large as Skanda coming out with a product that changes the brain to make you happy. Yeah, if people are painless, then why would they need medication, am I right? All the sorry excuses we have for public intellectuals today would throw a fit about how dystopian it looked to them. It's better if a small startup takes the fall if public opinion turns against this technology. That's the kind of calculus he was doing. It's better if a small set of text to follow public opinion just against the technology. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, I see. Those are the objections he claimed to have, at least. There's another one I suspect he had too, though. <laughs> if people are self-sufficient, they don't need an ongoing support system. Exactly what I was ju I just said, like, a minute ago. I believe. A system provided by an all-knowing paternalistic presence like Skanda. Hmm. Wait, you think Rainer wants people to stay miserable so they stay dependent on <gasps> mental health services from his company? No freaking way. If that's correct, then crap. Yes. Yes, I do. <sighs> oh my god, if that isn't the mentality of some particular medical places, then I don't know what's up. That's true. So much ethical stuff being brought upon in this game, I swear. It's quite the accusation, I know. Not something I'd come out and say in public, not yet anyway not yet but you have a think thinking on it but you see the people who come to Eliza regularly it's part of their lives now right right <sighs> Oof. for people to depend on counseling system to be dependent on it too that gets a bit unhealthy, not gonna lie. The more they integrate with Skanda's mental wellness tools, the more they'd be adrift without them. That's the real dystopia, don't you think? Rendered helpless without the guidance of computer algorithms. Total dependency on the system. Yeah. But does Rainer actually intend to do that? Like. Hmm. Like, it's something that I don't think has been raised in some certain articles that I've read so far to my recalling. But. Yeah. Uh, excuse me for one second. Oh? Sorry, hurry to out of, uh, of the room for some reason, leaving me with questions echoing in my head. Would I want myself re removed completely? Why is that? I have a little bit of lag again. Is it better to leave it alone? Uh, hmm. It's quite a good question there. I mean, listen, as a human, we have our own emotions. And it's true that they have to be regulated, but if one has to depend on other tools to make their life better, uh, then there's still something up with that tool or there's still something within us that needs to be 
managed. Uh, that's what I personally think. Okay. This is gonna be about Damien in the next episode, so probably gonna be a heavy stuff right here. Uh, totally a uh, perfect time to wrap this episode. It's already 50, 45 minutes too, so yeah. Looking forward to this. I think we're really gonna wrap this uh, game for sure. Thank you so much for watching. I think I'm getting rather pickle in this one. Uh, please take care of yourself.